morning. Good morning. Find me back on the road. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but mm. um, yeah, we're finally on the road again. And we've we came through from home through here to Te Arawa, uh, over here in the Waikato. Um, and we just sort of decided to come through here and sort of wait out the bit of bad weather. Um, which, yeah, it rained all day yesterday. And pretty heavy too. Yeah, and we, we weren't able to get out and do anything yesterday. Mm. So we had a, a bit of a look around town um, the day before and just in the afternoon. But it was really windy and wasn't really conducive to um, mm. making a video. Um, yeah, so we're staying here at the NZMCA park, which is relatively new, I believe. Um, and it's a great location. Oh, thank you, Mike. Oh, thanks, mate. See ya. See ya. Just carry on from there. That's a great location. Just a, just a guy letting me know that the park lights are on in the ute. It's just so I've got the doors <laughs> open and, and Ree was in the back seat so that, um, yeah, she doesn't interrupt us. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's in a great location. Um, it's um, just, out, just out of town, so there's a, a walkway at the back of the park which takes you right through to the main street mm. of, of town um, takes you through past the RSA so you could you could walk from here have a meal at the RSA yeah. uh, the dump station uh, we walk past that uh, the new dump station they're building it's not officially open yet but um, I've taken a bit of video of that um, there's a laundromat on the way into town and now up that road yeah there's also a, a fairly decent sized countdown and a yes. four square, um, a fairly decent sized four square as well. So, as well as a few dairies. So you know, there's there's plenty of options. Yeah, yeah. They've got one gas station, and when we pulled up there the other day to fill up with diesel, we also noticed that they do fill up with um, gas with, with LPG. With LPG. Yeah. Which not many of them do these days. They seem to be swapper bottles. Swapper so. bottles, yeah. So that's at the Caltex mm. in town there. Um, there's also on the way, on the walkway from the camp here into town, there's a BMX track just over the back here. So if you've got young kids or grandkids, um, there's somewhere for them to have a bit of a play around over there. And then at the end of the walkway, there's a skateboard park over there as well. So yeah, it's a really good location. Um, mm. Unfortunately, it, yeah, it, I mean, we've had some bad weather, which we, we knew we were getting, which is why we sort of hunkered down here for a couple of days. Um, but otherwise, um, we'd be out doing the rail trail on the push bikes. Um, but we might do that on the way back, I think. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back in here um, on our way back home, um, and we'll go out for a bike ride and do a bit of the rail trail. and Take you along with us and show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so this morning we're going to go out and just have a bit of a, a look around town um, while the weather's fine and um, we're probably going to hitch up and head off up towards Thames um, this afternoon. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's part one of Te Arawa. <laughs> Oh, and also just for some of our subscribers had asked about obviously where we stay and how much it costs so <clears throat> obviously those of you who don't know we're um, NZMCA which is New Zealand Motorhome and Caravan Association members um, I think it's $90 to join it's something like that yeah $90 to join and, and $90 every year um, subscription and basically, um, they're basically plots of land um, that are fully fenced. Um, most have water, not all, but most have water. Um, the occasional ones have dump stations on site as well. Um, and basically, you pay um, $5 per person a night. Um, mm. So you have to be fully self-contained and have your own power um, supply. We obviously have solar. Uh, because there's no 
um, electricity here. Um, mm. But, you know, it's great. I mean, $5 a night uh, for the mm. two of us, $10. So. And, and they're dog friendly. All, all the parks yes. are dog friendly. It's and this one in particular has, mm. well, it, it, there's a few of them around that have um, dog walking areas. Um, otherwise, your dog's got to be on a lead at, at all, all times, times when it's in the camp. Yeah. This particular camp here has a, a big off lead. Um, dog exercise area. Um, Which I think Darren's showing in the footage. Yes, the yeah. so it's obviously a council run one. Mm. Uh, it just happens that the NZMCA park is right next door to it, yeah. so it's it's absolutely great. It you is. know, you can yep. you can take Rhea over there and she can run around and and do all her things, you know, <laughs> and um, quite happily. So um, yeah, it's a really, really good yeah, camp, this one. It well, is, yeah. It is great, and it's so quiet at night. It's mm. really, really nice. So. Um, yeah, so that's us for this one. This is part one of Te Arawa. <laughs> um, next time we come back, we'll have a bit, bit of look around and hopefully the weather's a bit nicer and we'll take you for a ride on the rail trail. Um, but yeah, we'll go and have a bit of a look around this morning and then we'll head off further, further north. So um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya. I think I might start all this again. Start us again. Take two. Morning. Morning. So we're fine. Now my teeth are coming out of. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Yes. Yeah, so we're finally out on the road again. Yeah.